the news. Senate President Bukula Saraki has said that his colleagues are opposed to the recent decision by President Muhammad Buhari to approve $1 billion for the purchase of security equipment. Saraki had a say on the $1 billion security fund approved by the President in Joss Plateau State Capital during a retreat organized by the Senate Press Corps with the theme Strengthening Executive Legislative Relations. He revealed that the President's approval was without confirmation of the National Assembly. The challenge we have in security cannot be overcome by just regular issues or regular mundane administrative issues. A serious reform is required in the security sector. And it is an executive legislative relationship that can drive that. Because there are two major issues. It has to do with reform, reform either being in form of legislation or funding in the form of appropriation. Saraki frowned at the recent release of the names of some senators who were tagged looters by the Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed. Environment where you see someone in executive standing up and saying that the other arm is partner, because we are the partner of the executive. Somebody gets up and says his partner is a thief, is a looter, is a is how? It's not possible. Let's be realistic. How? So when you when you when you collaborate, you are collaborating for the bigger for the for the bigger picture, which is the country that we all serve. And that is why to me, strengthening that relationship is a very, very important responsibility. Glad to state Governor Simon Lalong, who was represented by the Deputy Governor Sani Gwande, said it is important for the executive and legislative arm of government to work together to achieve great results. Where an heavy friction exists in executive legislative relations, the health of and functional democracy is threatened. To therefore engender good governance that will deliver the dividends of democracy to the citizenry, there is the need to collab uh, for collaborative synergy along constitutionally spelled out responsibilities for the executive and the legislature to deliver on their respective mandates. Correspondent Adeoye Lalekon said other speakers at the retreat also called for constructive collaboration between the two arms of government for good governance.